Hi, my YouTube family. Well, I wanted to come on here today to show y'all what I'm doing. Right now, I'm making hamburger steak. My hamburger steaks are in here, cooking. Hunter requested that for supper. And I'm gonna cook mashed potatoes and green beans. So don't mind the plate, that's what I'm keeping my silverware on while the mashed potatoes are cooking and the hamburger steak is cooking. I did a small Dollar Tree haul and I wanted to show it to y'all. So here we, um, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General. <laughs> Dollar General had these bags right here for 50 cents and some little tags. And so I got some bags. I got the green with this tag. And then I got two greens. Let me put this right here. I'll try to show you. And then I got the purple and it had trick or treat on it with the witch's hat I'm gonna take this apart and make a, a flip bag with it and put uh, use those tags because I think they're pretty and I bought these but I'm gonna take this apart too I'm gonna just use the owl on one of my little flip books because I thought it was cute it was a dollar but look how cute it is guys but I'm gonna take this off and look at the skull this makes me think of stephanie loves fall her and savannah i'm not sure if the, her name is savannah or vanna so stephanie when you if you're watching this can you please let me know what your daughter's name is because i'm supposed to be sending her some goodies in the mail and i, I want to spell her name right is it savannah or vanna so please let me know but i bought this one to make a flip book with And then this one. This goes with that boo pad I bought at Michael's. Isn't it like, ooh, creepy. <laughs> and then they had these. And I'm going to be making something with these. And look, guys, they little pins. See? You know, like clips. And you can use it on your refrigerator, too, as magnets. So I'm going to put these on some of my flip books. And this was the other bag they had. I really like this bag. And it has the um, the pumpkin on it. And it says trick or treat as a tag. But I'm going to take that top part off. Remember guys, I'm going to make some flip books with this. So I got several of those. But y'all seen them. And then they had one bag that has this tag on it. So yeah. So I got several, so a lot of people's gonna be getting flip books because mama bored out of her mind. Our town is still on an eight o'clock curfew and all the stores are still shut down. So, and then I, these are the little kitty cats, guys. Same thing, magnets, but they like pins. You can close, they really cute. I'm gonna be using these on some flip books. And I granted a wish, and I wanted some, and my BFF probably wanted some, so I don't know if she wants them or not, but she's going to get them, because when I buy me something, I usually buy her something, too. And so I found these stickers, and I thought they were really cute. On Crafty Lori's channel, I granted a, a wish, and that she asked for Halloween stickers, so I thought these were cute. So I bought three of them, one for me. One for the wish I'm granting and one for my BFF. And look at this one, guys. It has the cat, the pumpkins. For a dollar, look at this pumpkin. I mean, <laughs> and the ghost, it has all of them. I thought they were so cute. Yeah, these are the same ones, but I'm gonna show them to y'all. So that's what I got at the DT. No, not Dollar Tree. Dollar General. But it was still a dollar. I paid a dollar and fifty cents for some of this stuff. Because y'all know I'm cheap. I do like to shop. And I like to get good deals. But if I can't get it cheap, then I'm not going to buy it. 
So anyway, I'm going to be showing you some projects I'm making. Because like I said, Mama bored. I'm so bored. And, um, yeah, the water damage to my car has old Betsy. That's what I call my car because my car is old. And I've had four teenagers drive my car, grow up, and and now they're no longer here. And I have one left, and I wanted to save my SUV for Hunter Man when he started driving so he could finish wrecking it and putting dents in it. But uh, I don't think me and my husband's going to be able to save old Betsy from the flood. So, looks like my husband's coming home in September, so... He was coming home to buy him a new truck, but it looks like uh, I'm going to have to get a vehicle, too. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. But I have to still say I have to give thanks to God because my home is okay. I had a little bit of water damage, but we're going to take care of that in Hunter's room and the hallway. And um, But we still have a home, and there's so many here living in the shelters because... They lost everything, guys. I mean, everything. And, you know, of course, our businesses on our main road lost everything. And they're all having to rebuild. And, you know, it's hard. It's it's kind of, you know, eye-opener that I think people need to recognize that, um, you know, you can have beautiful homes and you can have mansions and... But you know it can be taken away from you in a moment. So we need to appreciate everything that we've been blessed with. And appreciate everything that God has blessed us with. And you know, we used to live in, in a big brick home. And when my older kids um, grew up and left me, deserted mama. <laughs> I didn't want to stay there anymore because the house was so empty without all the kids there. So I came up with the bright idea for us to downsize. And because it's just me and Hunter and my Hunter, my husband works out of state most of the time. He's not home. So my idea was to downsize. So we moved into a three bedroom trailer and to save more money. And then we'd end up building us a home on some property. But I am so glad I decided to do that, guys, because my old home was completely flooded to the roof. Everything was lost. And, um, yeah, it's a big adjustment living, moving from a big subdivision, big brick home, to a trailer kind of in the outer part of town, in the country part. But I didn't lose everything, guys, and, and I want to thank God for that. Um... I do miss my home. I miss the space. You know, you have a lot of space in a house, and a house is <clears throat> more sturdy, and and <clears throat> you have more room. But that just goes to show you, you know, my trailer didn't get flooded out the way other my home would have been flooded out. I mean, it was complete. It's completely gone. They're gonna have to gut the whole thing out and start over. So I am thankful to God for that. I'm thankful that I didn't lose everything. I'm thankful that, you know, me and Hunter are fine. And and but my heart ached. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Um, I had a phone call, <laughs> so I don't remember where we stopped off at. But I'm gonna show y'all. This is my hamburger steak, and I made a little bitty piece for me. The other ones are bigger, and mashed potatoes and gravy. I still got to cook the green beans, but I haven't ate today, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this as my lunch and slash supper because I, I haven't been eating a lot lately. This is about all I can hold is this saucer amount, and I doubt I'm going to eat all of this, probably just half. So, yep, guys, with that being said, wrap your arms around yourself, squeeze real tight. I'm giving you a hug, a big hug. And if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you. You are beautiful. You are special. You're one of a kind. God made you in his image. Don't let anyone tell you any different. God loves you. I love you. Y'all have a great day. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up.
and leave me a comment guys I love hearing from you guys and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow bye love you